Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog, and today I am working on my wallflower sweater, and I'd like to teach you how to do an open bar increase. I'm using open bar increases for the raglan shaping here of the yoke of my sweater. Like so many things in knitting, open bar increases are also known by many other names. I have seen them called open make one increases or make one open or even decorative raised increases. Open bar increases are neutral increases. They don't slant noticeably to the right or the left, and they're formed by working a new stitch into the horizontal strand that's between the two stitches on your needles. And it creates these pretty little decorative lacy holes in your work. And these holes are actually smaller than if you would create a yarn over there to do an increase. So let me show you how it works. An open bar increase is made by working a new stitch into the horizontal strand that's between the stitches that are on your needle. So if I open things up a little bit here, you can see right here is that horizontal strand that leads from the stitch that I just worked into across to the next stitch on my left needle. I want to form a new stitch in that horizontal strand. If I were on the purl side of my work, I would insert my needle purlwise under that bar from back to front and then work the stitch. I happen to be on the knit side of my fabric, so I'm going to take my right needle and insert it knitwise from front to back under that horizontal bar, and then work my stitch like normal. And you can see there's a nice little hole there, and I've increased one stitch. So let me show you one more time. I'll work across a couple stitches here. And now I want to make another open bar increase. I'm going to find the horizontal strand, and it's right there. Insert my needle knitwise because I'm on the knit side of the fabric, and then work my stitch and pull it through. And I have my open bar increase. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make an open bar increase. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!